Welcome to Heritage Auctions July 2014 Summer Fun U.S. Coins event. Floor sessions are on July 10th and 11th, including an outstanding premiere session to be held on the evening of July 10th. Enjoy these highlights from the many rare and outstanding U.S. coins up for bid. Lot 3668 is an 1802 draped bust dime, the finest known example of the JR2 variety and a coin that is tied with five others at PCGS and NGC as the finest known 1802 dime regardless of variety. Struck from a late state of the dies, this coin displays a delightful blue and gold patina with exceptional eye appeal. Less than 300 1802 dimes survive in all grades, and we seldom have the opportunity to offer this low mintage date in any mint state condition. Lot 3816 is a sharp 1873 silver dollar certified MS65 by PCGS. 1873 was a year of dramatic change in the U.S. coinage system. The Mint Act of February 12, 1873 abolished several denominations, including the two-cent piece, the three-cent piece, the half-dime, and also the silver dollar, which would be replaced by the trade dollar. Before the legislation took effect on April 1st, the Mint had produced 293,1873 silver dollars, but many of these were melted to provide bullion for the new trade dollar. This brilliant gem example is one of the few high-grade survivors of the mintage. With lustrous surfaces and great eye appeal, PCGS and NGC together have certified just four examples in fighter grades. Lot 3871 is an amazingly toned 1902 silver dollar proof, a superb gem graded MS67 by NGC. This is, without a doubt, one of the finest proof 1902 Morgans we have ever seen. The coin is deeply toned and colorful in an earthy way, yet sparkling and lively across its surfaces. The fields are strongly mirrored and the strike is razor sharp. This exceptional proof is tied for the finest graded at NGC, and it is doubtful any other proof of the date is more stunning and original than this coin. Lot 3881 is an important example of the final year gold dollar struck at the Dahlonega Mint. It is a Civil War issue struck under the authority of the Confederacy, graded XF45 by PCGS. The exact number of 1861D gold dollars struck is unknown, but the entire mintage was produced after seizure of the mint building by Confederate troops in April 1861. An estimated 65 to 75 coins survive today in all grades, suggesting a tiny mintage of perhaps 500 to 1,250 pieces. The 1861D gold dollar is by far the most famous and sought after Dahlonega issue in the series because of its rarity and historical significance. This is a choice circulated example from the fine J.S. Morgan collection of gold dollars. Lot 3963 is the rare and desirable wire rim eagle graded MS64 by PCGS. One of 542 pieces struck, although 70 pieces were later melted for a net distribution of just 472 coins, according to recent research by Roger Burdett. The initial striking of the high-relief Augustus St. Gaudens design is considered a pattern by some and a circulation strike by others. But there is no dispute that the wire rim tens are the most true to the St. Gaudens approved design and its intended original splendor. This example has an unusually rich, colorful patina and strong eye appeal. Lot 4078 is a rare California fractional gold quarter dollar, certified MS65 proof-like by NGC. This issue is R8 on the rarity scale and it is one of just two documented specimens known to exist. Christopher Ferdinand Morig was the California maker and the dye pair was discovered by heritage cataloger Brian Kohler in 2009. The variety is unlisted in the Breen and Gilio reference. Collectors of this interesting series will appreciate the deeply mirrored fields and strong cameo contrast of this tiny octagonal gold quarter. It is an unblemished gem example of an incredibly rare variety. Bidding is now open for this auction. Floor sessions are July 10th and 11th, with the premiere session on Thursday evening, July 10th. For more detailed descriptions and images, log on to ha.com slash 1207. Thank you for watching and good luck.